Hi everyone, this is Angie at Angie's Pantry. Um, I'm going to make taco pie. Where I got it from was a channel called My Blind Mama's Messy Kitchen. The woman is amazing. She does wonderful meals and it's a funny channel. If you get time, get over there, make sure you do a, a thumbs up and let her know Angie sent ya. I'm not going to cook mine in, mine is going to be a little different. I'm not going to cook mine on the stove because it's really hot in here. This is my Tupperware stack cooker. This is the bottom. And on the bottom of this, there's uh, uh, slots in it. So the grease will go through. I chopped up one medium onion, uh, put it in there. I do want to add some uh, black cracked pepper. I do have an assistant. It's my great grand nephew. And he's eight years old now. Yep. And he wants to say hi to everyone. Put Brennan, right in. I'm going to show you him real quick. There he is. Hey. He can see you. See? Mm -hmm. And Brennan, how old are you? Eight? Eight. What grade are you in? I'm going into third. And this year I will. Awesome. He's going to help you and Angie cook. Okay, Brennan. Probably can't reach the microwave. So what we'll do is we'll put this lid on. And then we're going to put it in the microwave and cook it for about, let's check it, five minutes and then stir it around and come back and show these guys what it looks like when we're done. Okay. All right. Hold on, everybody. We'll be back in a few. Okay. Sorry, we're back online. I thought I'd show you what I'm going to do. She used um, croissants. I don't have croissants. I'm going to use puff pastry. And I'm going to try it a little different. I just washed this off from doing the onion. Like I said, I like to do things differently. I got this cupcake pan, so I'm just going to spray this really good. Tuck that right there. Just using pan. All right. Then this is the puff pastry. Oh, thank you, honey. Brennan told me you can't see what I'm doing. Can you see me now? Yeah, they can see you. Better? Yep. Still not very good. Yeah. Now can you see me? Uh, I have troubles with that. <laughs> so there's the puff pastry. I do have, I can never find it when I need it. Oh, a little rolly thing. I should have looked for it before. So we're going to use scissors. So I'm just going to kind of open this up. Take this piece out. Let this one cover. Can you still see what I'm doing, Brennan? Okay. I'm going to kind of put it together a little. And I want it to go inside the cupcake pan. As you can tell, I'm not good at cutter. And then we'll stick it in there. And we'll put the filling in. See where I'm going with this? So while I get this ready, and then while the hamburger's still cooking in the microwave, I'm going to chop up an onion, a tomato, some uh, lettuce that we could top on top of our uh, goodies here. All right, got two more to go. I'll be back when we're ready for the hamburger and putting it all together. Okay, we're back in the kitchen. I'm going to show you what all right, so I took this out of the microwave. I had it in for five minutes. And you see that you get the gist of it. So we're just going to kind of start because that's a lot of hamburger in there. And then we'll just stir it around, break it down. Now I did have enough puff pastry to where I'm going to do a mini pot pie dish with it. And I probably should shove those in the fridge because this is going to take about another 10 minutes to cook. See how I got the onion in there? 
looking good. And it, the meat does not come out rubbery. It's really good. All right, we'll be back. We'll pause. Okay, so this has been cooking for 10 minutes now. Stir it up. Yep, it's done. Little break it up. Again, you probably won't be doing as much as I am in here, but I wanted to get it done and didn't want to mess up my kitchen worse than what I already had. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to show you something. I'm going to stick this in the lid. And I want to show you all, excuse me, Brian. I want to show you how much grease this got out of there. Break it up. You see it? You see, Brennan? Oh, yeah. No, can you see on TV oh. or on the yeah. computer? So, okay, there's one cup. <laughs> Pretty disgusting. So this is what we got out of that hamburger. That's all the grease that would have been going into us. So I'd say three cups of fat. So what I'm going to do is sprinkle this over the hamburger, put it in the bottom of this, sprinkle the hamburger. And then when I go to uh, show you how to put it together, then I'll be back. Okay, so... We got the uh, taco meat, taco seasoning in here, with here. I did put in probably about a fourth of the cup of the fat that I rendered, just because of flavor. You don't have to do that, but I did because that's how I roll. So we're going to take our pans, and I got refried beans. Take the lid off of that. We put that in there, the hamburger. What, Brennan? I can't hear you. Yes, you can have some. We got some new chips today. What's the name of them, Brennan? Um, oh my gosh, they're really good. Cream cheese. That's the flavor. Everything but chips, Frito Lay. Okay. And then I got this. Like I said, I probably ain't doing it the way she did it, but good enough. A little bit of the refried bean Ugh. on top. I'm just taking it out of the can because the oven will heat it. It's going to be good, I think. And then in this pie, can you see what I'm doing way over here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Add some more of the refried beans. Brennan, you're up a lot with those chips. <laughs> okay. Wipe that off. Now a little bit more refried beans than that one. Get my hands off. I am going to add a little bit more hamburger in this pie. Okay, maybe in all of them. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I think it's going to be good. Me too. And she took sour cream. Yep, 
run up. Stop with the motion. Stir it up a little. You should put just a little bit on each one that they rubbed in all the way around. But I'm not patient enough to do that. Kinda. It doesn't help. My sour cream was pushed back towards the back of the free refrigerator. So it's got half of it froze. But it's still good. Hers looked a lot prettier than mine did, I must say. <laughs> but I'm thinking when it comes to tacos, it don't need to be pretty. It needs to be good. Yeah, they just need to be very good. But it's okay if you make a mistake. Right, because why? It's tacos. Yeah. <laughs> so what, you're making this teeny ones and yep. the big one? Yep. Hmm. Sounds good. Alright. Yes, I see there's hamburger in that. Now put on the cheese. Did you get that fly? We got a fly in here just driving us nuts. Nope. Wow. I, put, wow. I put Brennan on fly patrol. <laughs> yep. Alright, I'm going to put this, I got the oven set at 375. I'm going to put it in for about 25 minutes or so, or until they're popped up and golden and pretty. Be back when they're done. And bye. See you on the next one. Alright, these turned out beautiful. Look at that. Bottom. Can you see it on the TV, Brennan? Look at bottom. Crunchy. Now the pie is still in there for about another five minutes. And I'll show you how this went out. They come up real pretty. The bottom's crunchy. The sides are crunchy. Yum. Okay. So in my other Tupperware container, this is our mini serving set. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Mm, so, this is very hot, Brennan. You know what that is? Jalapenos. Fresh and, and pickled jalapeno. Mm. What's that? Onion. Tomatoes. Lettuce. Yep. And shredded seeds. Yes. Okay, so what we're going to do is, uh, for Brennan's, I, I don't think I'm going to give him any uh, of the onion. Because it, you know, sometimes people like them, sometimes they don't. So a little bit of lettuce, some tomato, Brennan. Mm -hmm. Little bit of cheese over the top. Mm. And I use the honey ranch. Ooh, that looks good. And honey then. French, French honey ranch. Yes. That stuff is good. Then I carefully drizzle it. You guys should use this. It is so good. Over but the top. You you See how pretty that is? Yeah. Now, for mine, I like a little heat. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I'm going to add the fresh and pickled jalapeno, a little bit of lettuce, and I don't mind if mine falls over on my plate a little. Onion. That's like kind of like the stuff. At fancy places, step yeah. on the side. Look. Tomato, a little bit of cheese. Yeah, that big one over there should be for dessert. <laughs> that big one's probably going to be Uncle Bob's. Oh. Maybe he'll have a big one and a small one. <laughs> probably top it a little bit better. So what are we going to do with the others now, after? before we eat, Brennan, we have to tell these nice people thank you for watching. So, Angie's going to pop it up a little. 
so you're going to see me. Mm -hmm. I need that yellow piece of paper, please. So, again, come on over. Oh, you're going to leave me red. Let's drop it down a little. There we go. All right. Again, I want to thank, give a shout out to my blind mama's messy kitchen. Thank you for showing us this wonderful recipe. And we cannot wait to dig in. Big hugs from my pantry to yours. We just say bye. Bye and thank you. And we will, it would, we would thank you for giving us a big fat thumbs up on you. That's right. Don't forget those thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber yet, make sure you hit that bell so that you, you can hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you'll see what's coming up next. Bye, everyone. Bye. Take care.